Hey guys, welcome to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in the application Adobe After Effects CS5. After Effects is a motion graphics software, uh, animate animation software. Uh, it's a software in which a lot of video intros are done with, a lot of just animated stuff that you see online is done with. So today we're going to be focusing on how to keyframe. And if you want to know what that is, keyframing is the basics of what everything is done around in After Effects. A keyframe allows you to take an object or a text layer or a shape layer and allows you to move it from one position to another position. It allows you to uh, zoom in or zoom out. It allows you to change the aspect ratio. It allows you to do so, so much. So this is just the very basic. So if you've never done it before, or if you want to learn how to use After Effects, this tutorial is for you. So let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, you want to go to, uh, when you open up After Effects, you want to go to uh, Composition, New Composition. And then you title your composition, and you make it as wide and as high as you want it to be. And then, you know, resolution will be full resolution. So you, you, Take care of all that, and you can change the background color, but I left mine at white. So once you've got your composition up, what we're going to do is I've already drawn out a little star shape here, and you can do that by using the tool up here, little shape tool. you got rectangle, rounded rectangle, and whatnot. So I've got a star. Now I want to move this star, okay? So go ahead and get your selection tool, which is in the top left corner here, your arrow selection tool. Move the star where you want it to begin, or whatever the object is. While you have this uh, object selected, go down to, you'll see right here where the shape layer is, there is a transform tab down here at the bottom. Select that. Now it'll show you everything here, okay? Now, this next point that I'm about to tell you, this is the most key point of the whole tutorial. This little clock icon here beside the anchor point, position, scale, rotation, opacity, this is key. This is what's going to make all of the magic happen. So the main thing we're going to focus on right now is the position. The position of this object is going to be different according to when or where the keyframe is. So go ahead and select the star or whatever it is. Click on the stopwatch. Once you click on that, you'll notice over here at zero seconds, it creates this little yellow diamond here. That is your first keyframe. Now, so what you're going to do is you're going to drag your, your time indicator to five seconds or however long you want it to be, and then you're going to drag the star where you want it to be. So at five seconds, you want it to be at the top of the screen. So there it is. You've created a keyframe from zero seconds to five seconds that's going to allow the star to move from the bottom left corner to the top center of the, of the uh, composition palette. So once you do that from five seconds to ten seconds, I then want to go ahead and drag it over to ten seconds. I then want the star to be down here at the bottom right-hand screen. So now that we've done that, what you want to do is you want to take your time indicator, go all the way back to zero seconds, and press play. Up here in the uh, top right-hand corner, you'll see a preview panel. Select play. So as you can see there, it's rendering right now. So this is not real time. It'll be a lot faster than this, but it's rendering right now. As you can see, the star is making a loop. At five seconds, it's at the top of the screen, and at 10 seconds, it is at the other, the bottom right-hand corner. So there we go. So let's go ahead and stop that now. Go back to the beginning and press play. So there we go. Now we have a star that is going up in the air and it's dropping down to the bottom. And we're doing all of this with basic keyframes, okay? Basic keyframes, okay? So again, that was just the position. We're going to cover one more thing in this tutorial and then we'll move on to another tutorial at a later date. The next thing we want is the scale. And what that is is how big the object is. So scale you want to make sure your keyframe is at zero seconds. Your time indicator is at zero seconds. You then want to click on the stopwatch beside scale. All right, it's at 100% right now. I don't want it at 100%. I want this to go down to, let's say, uh, right here. I want it to be right at about 50%, okay? That's exactly where I want it to be, okay? And the position I want it to be at is still, you may have to move it a little bit down here at the bottom. So once we get there, that's going to be 50%. Now, drag the time indicator to five seconds once again, and you may have to change the positioning of the star just to make sure that it's not going off the screen. Once you do that, you want to change the scale to about 75%. So now it's at 75%. 
and it's going to be right about there, okay? Now drag the time indicator to 10 seconds. You may have to adjust where your, your object is. Make sure it's not off the screen. So there we go. We got it, we got it down there at the bottom down there, and I'm going to change the scale back to 100%. Percent. So now it's at 100%, change where it is, make sure it's on the screen. And then once we go back to zero seconds, if you press play, if you watch what happens, the star will now go up in the rotation that you had it, and it will get bigger as the composition continues. So it's rendering right now. So there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, and boom, there it is at the bottom, okay? Now, here's the deal. If I want to see this in full screen, just select full screen there and press play. Okay, so let's stop it there, go back to the beginning and press play. Now my star is getting bigger and it's moving in the direction I want it to move in. So guys, this is all done by using basic keyframing. And you can do much more than that, okay? You can actually change the rotation of the object, you can change the opacity, and you can change the anchor point. And I'll get into that in more detail in more tutorials later to come. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. And again, we're in Adobe After Effects CS5. I'm Tech Guru. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.